All right, let's discuss what is an unbiased estimator. And I want to start with this term estimator. What is an estimator? Okay, so in statistics, we have this idea that there is a population out there. Okay, so there's a population. And we do not observe the population. And that's key, right? So there's like X1, X2, X capital N items in the population, and we cannot observe, observe them all. Okay, so what we do is we go out and we collect a sample. So we collect a sample. And in the sample we have uh, x1, x2, all the way through x little n, right? And these are random samples. This doesn't necessarily, this x1 is not necessarily this x1. But the idea is that there's little n of them. So it's a smaller than the population size. So population is unknown. We don't see these. Instead, what we do see is these little n sample items. Okay, so this is like a fundamental idea of statistics. You have a sample that's trying to tell you something about the population. So say, for example, you want to know what the population average is, right? So a population average is mu, right? And this is your um, population parameter. So what you do is, is you go out and you get a sample and you get an estimator from that sample. So x bar, which is 1 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i, right? So lowercase n. So this is this here. This is your estimator, right? So it's a calculation uh, from the sample that's trying to tell you something about the population. It's trying to tell you the population mean mu. Right? So the population mean mu, this is, this is uh, also called the expected value of xi. Right? So expected value means the average. Right? So the expected value of xi is mu. And we're estimating that expected value, that population average, using x bar. So in general, so that's what an estimator is. An estimator is something that you use from, you calculate from the sample to estimate something about the population. Okay, so what does it mean to be unbiased? All right, the definition of unbiased is that the expected value of your estimator, okay, equals the population parameter. Population parameter. Right? So you can have some estimators. You can calculate things from the sample that don't necessarily equal a population parameter. Okay? And I'll show you an example of that in a minute. But, you know, in general, this is the definition, okay? And so, what it, first off, what does it mean to be an expected value of an estimator? The expected value of an estimator is Ba you know, basically expected value, you know, it means average, right? So the, the average of x's, x bars, the average of the sample means. So what does that mean? Well, theoretically, you know, we collect one sample, but theoretically you can collect many samples, okay, from the population, right? And each of these samples would have slightly different sample means because of random variability, right? So each one of these samples would have different sample means. Well, if you average up those sample means that are theoretically coming from the same population, if the sample mean is an unbiased estimator of the population mean, then the average of all those sample means should equal the population mean. That is what it means when we say the expected value of x bar equals mu. So the average of all the different sample means that could possibly come from that population, the average of all those is the population mean mu. Okay, so you know, let, we, we can quickly show that the expected value of x bar is unbiased. Okay, so x bar is unbiased estimator of mu. We can show this because this is the same thing as the expected value of 1 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i. Okay, we can pull out 1 over n and the sum from the expected value. Okay, and we end up with 
uh, 1 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n of the expected value of xi. Expected value of xi is mu by definition of expected value, right? So this equals, and by definition of mu, I guess. So this equals uh, 1 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n of mu. Now mu doesn't have an i in it, right? All the, the means of all these x's are all mu, so there's no i there, so there's basically when you sum up something that's showing up, there's no i, that basically there's n of them. So this is 1 over n times n mu, the n's cancel, and you're left with mu, okay? So that is our result, that the expected value of x bar equals mu, okay? The expected value of x bar equals mu. That is an unbiased estimator. The, est the expected value of the estimator is the population parameter. Okay. So let me do another example of a, a um, biased estimator. All right. So um, we could estimate the sample variance s squared using the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i minus x bar squared, right? So this is the, this is basically the deviation from the mean squared, right? x uh, minus the mean, so this is the deviation, how much it's changing from the mean, and then we're squaring it basically to get rid of the sign, so we don't have, uh, you know, positive and negative uh, variations from the mean, okay? all that divided by n. So this is the average, so average because I'm dividing it by n, so the average squared distance from the mean. I'm using that to estimate the, um, the variance of my distribution, uh, or sorry, of my uh, population, right? And you might be saying, well, hold on there. You know, I learned in school, you know, I should have minus one here. Well, why do you have that minus one there? That minus one is there because that that is basically an adjustment that makes this S an unbiased estimator. Okay, so if you know, I just if I started off with just having n on the denominator, which it makes sense to have n on the denominator because I'm basically finding an average, right? So you might, I mean, it also makes sense for it to be minus one, but um, you know, let's start by thinking, you know, okay, well. Okay, well, well, would this be unbiased? Okay, let's figure this out. Is this unbiased or is it not unbiased? What does it look like when you take the expected value of it? Let's figure this out. So basically, what do we want it to be unbiased of? We want it to be unbiased of sigma squared, the population variance. Okay, so sigma squared is the variance of xi. That's what we want to use this estimator to estimate. So the way we would say, okay, well, is that an unbiased estimator? Okay, so let's figure this out. So we'd say, okay, well, what's the expected value of s squared? Where s squared is as I've defined it here. This is the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i minus x bar squared divided by n. Okay, you can pull out the 1 over n. Okay, so I have the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of x sub i minus x bar squared. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and square this x sub i minus x bar. Okay. So this is 1 over n times the expected value of this sum. Okay. So I have x sub i squared minus 2x bar times x sub i plus x bar squared. Oops, x bar squared. Okay, uh, close parentheses for expected value. So that basically what I did is I foiled, right? So I did x i minus x bar times x i minus x bar, right? And I got this guy. Okay, now I can bring in the sum, simplify it a little bit. Okay, so I have the sum from i equals one to n of x i squared minus two times x bar times the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi, right? You can take out the x bar because it doesn't involve an i in it. And then uh, when we sum up x uh, bar squared n times, we get n of them because it doesn't have an i in it. Okay. Okay. Now, this sum of xi, if I were to divide that by n and then multiply this term by n, 
right? They basically, these guys cancel and you're left with exactly what I didn't do anything to the equation at all, right? I multiply the term by n and I divided it by n. Uh, the thing is, is that this helps me because this is x bar, okay? So this is x bar. So let's go ahead and rewrite the next line. I'm going to have 1 over n out front, the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of xi squared minus 2n x bar. Now this is x bar here, this is also x bar. So that becomes x bar squared, okay? Plus n times x bar squared, right? I guess I didn't need these parentheses here, right? So let me rewrite that. So two times n x bar squared, same thing, okay? Okay, so see how this is x This is x bar times x bar? That makes x bar squared right there. And we have that n there. All right, so now I recognize that these are like terms, right? They both have n times x bar squared, n times x bar squared. There's negative two of them, and then there's plus one of them. So minus two plus one makes minus one. So I can combine like terms, and I'm left with one over n is still out front. The expected value of the sum from i equals one to n of x of i squared minus n x bar squared, okay? Okay, so now I can bring in my expected value and I'm left with one over n, the sum from i equals one to n, okay? Um, of the expected value of x i squared, expected value of x i squared, minus n can get pulled out, and then I have the expected value of x bar squared. Okay, all right, so now I, to figure out these guys, I need to uh, remember something about variance. So remember that variance, by definition, variance of xi equals the expected value of xi squared minus the expected value of xi uh, squared. Okay, so this is by definition. Okay, so the variance of xi is sigma squared. Uh, the expected value of xi squared, we don't know. That's actually, that's this term here, right here. And then the expected value of xi is mu, so that's mu squared basically, right? So I can rearrange this and I get uh, sigma squared plus mu equals the expected value of xi squared. Okay, similarly, the um, variance of x bar equals the expected value of x bar squared minus the expected value of x bar squared, right? The variance of x bar is sigma squared over n, okay? The expected value of x bar squared, we don't know. The expected value of x bar, we actually just showed that it's an unbiased estimator, so we know that that is mu, and so it's mu squared, right? This is mu, and then we have the square, okay? So this is sigma squared over n plus mu equals the expected value of x bar squared. Okay, so then just plug these in. So we'll plug in this guy here, and then this guy right here, okay? So what am I left with? Okay, one over n, the sum from i equals one to n, okay, times this green stuff. So it'll be sigma squared plus mu. Looks like I accidentally dropped a square, so plus mu squared. And I did the same thing down here too, sorry. Plus mu squared, okay. So plus mu squared, okay. So that's this guy right here, minus n times the expected value of this guy. So sigma squared plus, or sigma squared over n plus mu squared. Okay. Okay, so now I have one over n. Now when you sum up sigma squared uh, n times, and there's no i here, this is gonna be n of them. So you'll have n times sigma squared plus n times mu squared, okay? So basically what I did is I summed up sigma squared n times and I summed up mu squared n times. 
Okay, next let's distribute this n. So I'll have the n will basically cancel with this n in the denominator here, so I'll have sigma squared. And then so it's minus sign, so then it'd be minus n times mu squared. Okay, so now I have some cancellations. So this guy cancels with that guy. And I'm left with one over n times n uh, sigma squared minus sigma squared. Okay, sigma squared is a, is a you know, I can pull it out. So I'll get sigma squared over n times n minus one, right? When you pull out a sigma squared, you'll be at n minus one here. Okay, so the, you know that's as simple as I can get, folks. So this is basically what I end up finding. I found that the expected value, right, of s squared equals sigma squared over n times n minus one. Okay, that is not the same thing as me saying the expected value of s squared equals sigma squared. That's an unbiased estimator. This is what I was hoping to get. I didn't get it. Instead, I have this like term here, right? n and then n minus one. Well, yeah, so that's an unbiased estimator, right? So this did not happen because I defined s squared to be the sum from i equals one to um, n of xi minus x bar squared, and I divided it by n. Okay, had I used n minus one, so if I had used n minus one here, then I would have n minus one here, and you can go through this derivation again, but basically I'd have n minus one here. They would cancel each other, and I would be left with just sigma squared, and I would have had this nice result. Okay, so that's why we have that divided by n minus one and not divided by n. It makes the uh, estimator an unbiased estimator, okay?